I am so excited to start the day out this way with these little snakes right here. You might ask, why are you so excited about this clutch of snakes? It's because, and you might see I got a little bit of a leak there because I did start my day actually handling iguanas, but regardless, if you ask what's on, Brian, why do you got red on your hand? It's a, you know, a little leaking there, but anyways, these are little baby palmetto corn snakes. Unbelievable. Palmetto corn snakes are probably my favorite corn snake because they look like little cow reticulated pythons. They have little speckles on them and of course they're actually white as you guys can see but you can see there's little tiny speckles in a little bit I'm going to show you the mama that is absolutely wonderful well the fact is is that palmetto corn snakes came out probably 10 years ago a guy named Don Soderberg is the guy that actually originally produced them and he was only selling females for three thousand dollars you couldn't even buy a male he wouldn't sell you a male you could only buy females so I just hadn't gotten the project for the last several years well this year is the first year that we had the opportunity to produce and this is the first clutch that I've ever produced and you can see some of these have a little bit more freckling on them than others. Now, unlike the cow reticulated pythons that are born white and then get speckling as they get older, these speckles stay this way their entire life and they're absolutely wonderful. And we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven baby palmetto corn snakes. The first time that I've ever produced them, I couldn't be more excited about it. They are absolutely wonderful snakes. So we'll get these guys shed out, get a little bit of meals. I don't know, we may keep some, we may sell some. I'm not sure exactly what's gonna happen. I'll try to, you know, sneak some by Laura, you know what I mean? Because if she sees them, she's gonna sell them all. I'm gonna try to keep some for sure because they're absolutely amazing. And I am over the moon and I'm so happy to start my day with baby palmetto corn snakes. And like I mentioned, I wanted to show you the mama that is absolutely incredible. As a baby, you can't really appreciate those speckling in them and again like I had mentioned she was born with all of these speckles they don't gain them as they get older of course they just get more pronounced because they get bigger and you can see them it is so amazing like I had mentioned it's almost like a miniature cow reticulated python but it's in a corn snake it's absolutely wonderful again I remember when Don had the first ones that came out of the wild and I was blown away I was like you have to be kidding me that's one of the coolest snakes I've ever seen and again all these years later I finally was able to get some last year and then produce for the very first time this year I am so happy I mean you can't tell me that thing isn't a beautiful snake I mean take a look at that beauty right there unbelievable I am so excited to start my day with baby palmetto corns I can't wait to show Lori in a little bit oh and by the way guys welcome to the vlog reptile army I hope to start your day is absolutely incredible I know mine sure is to go over to reptilearmy.com get your swag join the army join the movement we need your foot soldiers out there as you guys know, 10% goes to USR, the other goes to education. Go to reptilearmy.com. He's gonna go crazy for this banana. Have you seen him eat a banana? Because, let me tell you, oh, look at him already. Whoop pal. Come on, Brillo. Oh my God. <laughs> Wasn't expecting that right off the rip. Oh my God, he's probably gonna bite my fingers. How are we supposed to do this with the kids? Here, brosy. Mmm. Eat all your fruits and vegetables. All right. Oh my God, so nasty, but I love him so much. So obviously banana is one of his favorite treats. This is disgusting. Yes. You're so ferocious. I know. So these guys don't really have that good of eyesight, obviously, if you cannot tell. Okay, so we're gonna feed him the rest of his food. Sweet potatoes, carrots, apples, turkey. Yeah. Mm. Oh, we also have his armadillo Missouri diet. A little bit of water in there. Just gonna mix it up for him. And uh yeah, he loves it. I mean if you can't tell he's actually like he's getting huge. He's getting so big already, and this is starting to get pretty hard. It's definitely not as soft as it was two, three weeks ago. Still soft. And yeah, I mean, he just wants to eat. He doesn't really want any part of me right now. He just wants to eat, that's fine. Well, I'm super excited about this clutch that I'm about to show you guys today. So I remember when she laid her eggs, this is from our female palmetto corn bred to a male het. So that means, yes, we actually have hatched palmettos. These things are so cool. I am so excited. This is so crazy. Okay, so this is the first time we've actually hatched them and they all look very white. So I'm wondering as they shed and get bigger if they develop a little bit more pigment or not because I don't see hardly, I don't see any on these at all. A little bit on this one guy's head, 
Okay, a little spot here or there. So yeah, I am super happy about these. This is, it's a pretty good average too of how many that we hatch because it was a female to a male hat. So yeah, I definitely probably will keep them a little bit just to see how they progress and if they get more pattern or how this works with these guys, but uh, I'd say success. What we have here in this clutch that we're about to cut is a double head ghost clown bred to a clown head for ghosts. So let me break down the genetics before we get going. So basically half the baby should be clown, one in four babies should be ghost, and in theory, one in six babies could be a ghost clown. Now we have six eggs. This is random genetics that happen over millions of specimens. So who knows what could happen? We could have all six ghost clowns. We could have no ghost clowns. We could have no clowns. We could have all clowns. All kinds of stuff like that, right? Because it's called Mendelian genetics. Let's hope we're at least one ghost ghost clown, six eggs, let's jump in. And then of course, you just never know every egg you cut, never know what's gonna happen. And what do we have here? I can't even look inside the egg. So the first egg is a normal, boo-hoo. So we know it's 100% heifer clown because it's a clown heifer ghost bred to a double head ghost clown, right? Then it would be what they call 66% pet for ghosts, because when you breed head to head, two thirds of the babies that are normal looking are head, but you can't tell what they are, so we call them 66% heads. Let's move on to egg number two. Oh gosh, please. I just wanna produce one ghost clown, please. Well, we got a clown, so it's definitely a clown, and again, because it's head to head, we know it's a 66% possible head for ghost clown. So uh, at least we know we got the clown going, now we just gotta produce some ghost stuff, and we still have four eggs to go. All right, here we go. He's got some weird uh, dark spots on these eggs too, which aren't exactly, <gasps> Woo! we did it, we did it. <laughs> Believe it or not guys, this is the first ghost clown I've ever produced. That's right, it's not that they're super rare. I mean, their double recessive mutations are always rare, but it's just the first one that I've ever produced. I've produced albino clowns before, of course, all the mutations of the clowns, but I've never produced a ghost clown very first one and I am so happy and so excited. We still have three eggs to go. So we hit our one in six odds. Now we still have three eggs. Can we actually crush the odds now? You never know what's gonna happen. Let's keep moving on. And I am so over the top happy that we produced that animal. You don't even understand. So again, we got another het clown, 66% possible het for ghost right there. Two eggs to go. But I'm still over the moon, guys. I'm still just giddy that we produced the ghost clown. I'm gonna keep it no matter what, just cause it's just too cool not to. We've got another clown ball python that's 66% possible het. So we're doing pretty good. So far we've got five eggs, got three clowns, one actual ghost clown. So the odds have actually been working pretty good. One egg left to go. And uh, the interesting thing is that one and four should be ghosts. Again, we've got one in five ghosts. So this should potentially be a ghost ball python if our odds work out. Let's just hope it's a ghost clown. All right, last egg. You guys know I like to end it on a bang. Oh my gosh, do we have it? Yes! We have another ghost clown. Woohoo! Two ghost clown ball pythons. That is absolutely epic. I produced my first one just now. Now I produced my second one. I am so happy it worked out the way it does. This is so cool. Hopefully there'll be two females or at least a pair. I want to raise up at least one female. I really could use a male too. So hey, listen, whatever they are, I'm happy. That was absolutely epic. So you guys, I've got a little bone of contention to, to, to talk to you guys about, all right? So I actually had a dream last night. Oh God. Listen, this is true. Jay and you both started another reptile zoo, but all you had was a bunch of Tupperware stuff with a bunch of stuff stacked all over the place. And you open up right across the street and it was called the Reptorium. And we took over. No, you didn't take over. Everyone was laughing at you. But my point is, is that you guys aren't gonna open up the Reptorium, are you? Now we might have to. Know. Maybe now. Now we've got ideas. Okay, we're and, famous, then, and all you need is a bunch of plastic tubs, and you guys have the whole thing set. Yeah, we're pretty much. Yeah, in. you had like a, you had like four animals, and people were coming in, being like, "What is going on here? I thought this place was supposed to be cool." With his house alone in my house, I think we'll have. I like think we should do it. Animals. We're we're coming for you. Okay, all right. We're gonna go ponytails. All right, the Reptorium.com. Guys, go check it out. This is actually Ruby, the new Caledonian gargoyle gecko. And it's over at the Reptarium. Again, we have crested geckos, we have chikua geckos, lychee geckos, and gargoyle geckos over here. The fact is I am getting so excited about getting this new Caledonia room done. Uh, should be working on in the next couple days. Jessica's already put all the backdrops in, the ones that we can. We have a few more to go there, but I have to figure out the front. We're just waiting on a couple last things to get going. So literally within two or three days, I'll go ahead and get that thing completely rocked out, and it's gonna look amazing. 
amazing. Then we have to decorate each and every enclosure, which is definitely gonna take some time, but it's gonna be so cool to have a new Caledonian room, all kinds of cool geckos, and Ruby here is an absolutely beautiful animal ambassador. Hey, you too. Yeah. I don't believe this, but I hear that you guys have had a paranormal experience at the Reptarium. What's what we got? Well, more like a panic attack, actually. Like, really? What happened? Oh, yeah, I mean, we're just sitting, you know, back here. We were cleaning up some stuff. And it honestly sounded like there was a little girl and mom, something like that. Oh, it's right interesting. In it sounds of... like little girls here. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah like right now, we didn't have anything going no on. No tours. And it was in the morning too. And we yeah. usually don't have stuff like early, early in the morning. So what do you mean by little girl? What do you, what like do you it was a kid talking, and it talking. sounded like it was right in front of Bowser's couldn't, pond. Couldn't so make out we the words. Stopped. Though. Went to go see if somebody was like in the building because you know the doors are supposed to be locked. Yeah. Uh, so we checked the doors, they're locked, and there's literally nobody here. I thought maybe it was Mike saying something, and I was like, hey, hey, dude, did you say something? And he was just like, no, I kind of, I kind of scratched my throat a little bit, but that was it. And I was just like, no, it sounded like kind of high pitched. And then, uh, and then that's when he heard it too. And we were like, no. nobody. Like not there was a soul. no monitor like we looked scratching. Through, we looked through the cameras. We were just like, oh what in the world? Like, how did we hear hmm. this? We should, we should actually, I wonder if the cameras would pick up a ghost. I bet they could. So what do you think? We should do, now we're going to have to do some haunted reptarium Noah's nights. Little, uh, yeah, he's thing. got the little, oh, yeah, yes, he Noah's probably conjuring stuff. Yeah, yeah that's no, what I said. They never left direction how to stop that. So, that's we, right, so yeah. we actually were talking about that because like, you know, we were hearing it right here in this area, not over there. And like, it's it's still down there sitting on that table uh, right now. It could have been we little girls been downstairs. Up, up top of a portal or something. Oh my gosh, there's a portal. So, <laughs> all right, let me know if you guys want to do some haunted ghost tours at night here at the reptarium. I'm not doing them. Uh, Bruce and Mike are going to be the stars. I'm, 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 I'm out. I'm ready to see some ghosts. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll keep you guys posted on the paranormal activities here at the Reptarium. Noah. Yes. I got a bone to pick with you. Oh, I got a bone to pick with roses. <laughs> so I hear that the place is haunted now. Yeah. Bruce Bruce and Mike said that's haunted. It is. And they're blaming you for bringing in your little pendulum. Yeah. And I you know. think it's true. Oh yeah. So you're not surprised? No, no, no. I've talked to him. You talked to who? Mike and or the spirits? Spirits. Really? Yeah. Is it a little girl or is it something else or is it? A well, there's one. Posing? There's one girl. She's not little. Uh, really? It's a woman. But you know, there's a there's a few other guys. Oh my gosh, this is scaring me now. All right, I'm not going to be at the Reptarium at night at all. Usually, I'm the last one here. I'm the last one here. Yeah. Can you close the portal? I didn't know that Bruce and them were talking to them though. I've been, yeah. you know, like to have my chats with them, but what were they saying? They said that there was just talking and it came from the podcast room because it was by Bowser's tank. And what did they say? It said it sounded like a little girl talking, Told you. but she couldn't, they couldn't make it's it out. a woman though. So, wow. All right. They couldn't make it All out. All right, that's it. I'm not staying here at night alone. I, that's it. I'm here a lot of times at night when it's dark. I'm the only one here, and now I'm not going to do that. I'm you scared. Wanna, you want to try the pendulum? No. Well, let's go. Close the door. I don't close know the how. portal. I don't know how. Well, we if anyone knows how to close the portal, let me know in the comments. We got to close this portal. We don't need this in the rift area. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor, won't you? Right over here is a playlist. Hit one of those videos. It would mean a lot to me. You know what else would mean a lot to me? Is right over here is a subscription button. Hit that subscription button. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you in the next one.